So, Star Wars The Last Jedi as a love letter to fans. I said it. Um, you're either here because you're ready to disagree with me, or you already agree with me. Either way, hello. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it. I really think this movie is a love letter to fans, and I'm here to explain two main reasons why I think so. I'll probably sprinkle in some others as well. Um, I've seen this movie four times. I really do love it. Um, I think Ryan Johnson did a great job. Hi, Ryan Johnson. Um, so the first one I want to talk about, I'm looking, if I'm looking down, my notes are here. So the first one I want to talk about is Holdo. Okay, so Holdo is what every girl who looked up to Leia um, is. She is reflected in every woman, every girl who has been inspired by Leia. She's strong, she's feminine, she's badass, she defies people's expectations, specifically Poe's. Um, she is uh, all of these things. She is not just one of them, um, and she's allowed to be this multifaceted person. Um, and so there's one scene that makes me cry like no other. Uh, the third time I saw it, I literally like it was ugly crying with my hands over my face because like I didn't want everybody to see me. Uh, it was like loud. It was gross. Um, anyway, this is the scene um, when Holdo is telling Leia that she is going to stay uh, on the ship. And, you know, she's saying, I can't lose another. And Holdo goes, you taught me how. And like, oh, oh. It gets me because like of the smile, but like the respect she has for Leia uh, on on Holdo's face. Um, I literally just wrote please, please in my notes because it. I've never heard a more beautiful line spoken to Leia to um, to pay tribute to Leia, uh, and you know then they both say may the force be with you and. Uh, you know, they mess, they do that at the same time, they go jinx, you know, and then she goes, you do it, I've just said it enough, and that's just like this passing of the baton, um, this letting somebody else step into her shoes, and this letting somewhere else, someone else embody the traits that she's put forth for so many years. And when I found out um, in an LA Times article that I'll link down below, um, that Ryan Johnson sat down with Laura Dern and Carrie Fisher to rewrite the scene and Laura Dern wanted to pay tribute to Carrie and to Leia's legacy. <sighs> oh, please, like kill me. Um, that's just so beautiful and they did it so well and they, both Laura Dern and Carrie Fisher like wrote their lines in that scene and I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. It's so beautiful and with the passing of Carrie Fisher it makes it all that more important. Um, and all that more beautiful and also moving a little bit forward from that Holdo actually making that sacrifice is just an incredible piece of cinematography an incredible piece of film um and her choosing to make that sacrifice and saying godspeed rebels and please like it's incredible making that sacrifice for the things that you love and the ideas that you cherish um so yeah yeah I really love it the second one I want to talk about is Broom Kid, and you might be going, oh my god, but Broom Kid and Ray are clearly siblings. Stop yourself right there. Um, Broom Kid is just Broom Kid, Broom Kid is the fans. Hear me out on this one. Broom Kid is us. We are all Broom Kid. If you were a kid who grew up, who was inspired by Star Wars, Broom Kid is you. Um, so before it's the final, final statement with Broom Kid, they're telling, um, the three kids are telling a legend of Luke Skywalker, and it kind of seems like they're telling him facing down the First Order. And the legends may even mean more than Luke Skywalker's actions themselves, which is kind of what Star Wars is. Star Wars for adult fans, Star Wars for fans in general, is more to us than the movies itself. It's the community, it's the people, it's the actors, it's the ideas. Um, and so, like, these legends, what we've made it in our head is more than the thing itself and the thing's actions. Um, so moving forward from that, back to the last scene with Broom Kid himself, God bless him, he uses the force to grab that broom. We all wish we could have the force and we all want to sweep our floors now with the force. Um, anyway, him, he looks out at the horizon as Luke has done so many times and there's such a 
tribute to Luke looking at the horizon in this movie as well. Um, the joy of kids. Okay. So Luke looking at the horizon, that's a beautiful tribute to Luke. Um, but the joy of children. George Lucas has said on more than one occasion that Star Wars is a film for 12 year olds, which is fine and I agree with him. It is. But it goes beyond that and we all know that. Um, the ideas go beyond that. But when a kid is excited by Star Wars, when I was excited by Star Wars at the age of like six or seven, or when you were excited by Star Wars at the age of six or seven, there is nothing more important to a Star Wars movie than a kid being inspired by Star Wars. I like firmly believe this. When you see the joy of a child who has experienced this film, who is inspired by this film, who looks up to a certain character in this film, there is nothing more important um, when it comes to Star Wars stuff. Uh, it's really the most incredible thing. And so Broom Kid is us. Broom Kid is every kid who will be inspired by Star Wars, who will take up this fandom, who will devour the lore, who will read the books, who will engage in the community. Broom Kid is us. Also, Broom Kid is the cycle of hope beginning. When we see this movie, we are inspired by the hope um, that it gives off, like we have a desire to make things better in our own lives, in our own communities. The resistance ring is a symbol of hope, that cycle of hope beginning again. I, ah, I just love it so much. Broom Kid is so great. I also want to throw in Yoda into all of this. We are what they grow beyond. Like, oh, even with generations of Star Wars fans, the younger generations of Star Wars fans are going to become even more than like we were. It doesn't matter if you're an OG or a prequel kid. Like, it. We're all together, and. The kids of today will continue to grow beyond what we may ever become and i don't know i just really think that this movie is a love letter to the fans i think it's beautiful even though it subverts our expectations it gives us answers we didn't know what we wanted or that were different than we thought we wanted um it's such a beautiful tribute to the fans and you can tell that ryan johnson is a fan making this movie and thank you ryan johnson for a beautiful movie thank you for being cool and awesome and nice all the time um i I love this movie. Let me know what you thought of the movie in, in the comments. Um, were there any other scenes that you really thought were a love letter to the fans? Um, follow me on my social medias. I talk about Star Wars a lot, as you may imagine, with my Death Star necklace. Um, uh, and subscribe. I put up videos whenever I feel like putting up videos, which is whenever. May the force be with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.